Hey, what's good YouTube? My name is Craig, and in this video, I am explaining the main differences between passive and active income. This video will help you to deepen your understanding of money, identify gimmicky sales pitches, and avoid MLMs and, and other pyramid money-making schemes. And by watching this video, you will learn that making money actually requires hard work and that there are truly only a few sources of actual passive income. Furthermore, if you want to become the entrepreneur of your life, you can start this process today by subscribing to this channel. Also be sure to click the notification bell to be alerted for whenever new videos are uploaded. Are you ready? So just to go straight no chaser like right now in this world and in this entrepreneurial space um, there's a lot of confusion between the differences uh, between active income and passive income and unfortunately in this entrepreneurial space you have a lot of people falsely proclaiming that they're helping people to develop streams of passive income or that they themselves have created a living off of generating passive income. Um, but one of the, the big disclaimers is that there really is no such way to make money without doing anything. Like in order to receive, you have to give. And a lot of these influencers, a lot of these fakepreneurs are going to sell you on the idea that you can make money through your computer or through the internet just by selling some product or service and live happily ever after. Unfortunately, after a lot of people buy into these programs, they start to quickly understand that like there is no such thing as just sitting on your butt and collecting a paycheck. Like you have to do some type of work. But the game's already been played because that person who sold you on the idea of quote unquote passive income is the person who's actually generating the passive income because they're not doing anything. They just sold you on the idea that they are doing something that they're not. But moving forward in this video, I'm going to start off with breaking down the definitions between like what is actually passive income and what is active income. So I'm going to start off with the definition of what active income really is. Now, if we look closely at the definition of active income, it can be simply described as this active income is money earned directly from someone's labor let me repeat active income is money directly earned from someone's labor and so in that definition you have to look at another word carefully and that word is labor and labor really defined by Karl Marx is probably the the best definition and Karl Marx states that labor is essentially the exchange of your time and energy, like it's your hard work. So essentially active income really broken down at the highest level is somebody exchanging their time and energy, their work, their labor for money. So with that basic definition of active income, common types of active income are what everyday people mostly do. And that's just exchanging their labor for money. So basically working a job, earning a salary, uh, having a side hustle or working one of these gig remote uh, uh, work opportunities, like that's how you generate active income is you're essentially directly exchanging your labor, your time, your energy, your work for money. Like that's it. That's what active income is. And it's a much simpler definition than uh, passive income. So let me continue this video with describing to you what the definition of passive income, what it really is. So flipping the script and moving forward to defining passive income, it's essentially the antithesis or complement to what active income is. So active income is money earned directly from someone's labor. Well, passive income would be money earned indirectly from someone's labor. So let me repeat that. Active income is money earned directly from someone's labor, but passive income is money earned indirectly from someone's labor. 
So let me go a little bit more in depth onto what that actually truly means. Now, if we think about money that's indirectly earned from someone's labor, let me give you a few examples of passive income. So one would be rental income. Uh, another example would be income from uh, the generation of digital products or services like ebooks. Uh, another example of passive income would be money earned from stocks uh, or bonds, you know, what you consider capital gains. And another example of passive income would be maybe uh, an inheritance, money passed down from someone else. So when you look at these examples, like people falsely assume that this is money made from just chilling or sitting back. Well, that's a major fallacy because nobody just makes money from nothing. Like that asset that is generating revenue, whether it's that stock, that digital product, uh, that inheritance, that trust fund, whatever you name it, that asset was created by somebody like somebody had to put in work to create that digital product somebody had to uh, put in work to create that trust somebody had to put in work to do the due diligence to choose that right stock somebody had to put in that work to analyze those different real estate uh ventures somebody had to put in the work to do the cash flow analysis somebody had to do the work to refurb and rehab it that apartment or that house before they can make it uh, inhabitable like passive income requires a lot of work but at the end of the day what you're really doing is you're creating an asset or something that um, is valuable enough to help you generate money indirectly from your work. So I'm gonna go in with the next video to really describe the differences between active and passive income. As mentioned before, active income is money earned directly from someone's labor and passive income is money earned indirectly from someone's labor. So essentially the main difference between active and passive income is that in order to generate active income, you have to work directly for that money. It's like, okay, I put in 10 hours of work and I get 10 hours worth of uh, uh, money uh, back from that, that exchange of my labor for, uh, for value. But when it comes to passive income, it's, it's a lot different because you're working not necessarily in direct exchange for money. What you're doing is with passive income, you're working really hard up front to create an asset that ultimately works and scales for you. So going back to my example of like potentially like a digital product, like for example, like I'm a published author, an award-winning published author, and it took me three months of hard back, back, back breaking work, uh, thousands of hours of work to write and publish my book. Well, after I wrote and published my book, I then uploaded it to different platforms. And of course I, I did work to market uh, and, and, and promote my, my book. But at the end of the day, I'm able to generate passive income from this book because people are able to purchase that product from me um, aside from my actual direct labor. So the, the big difference between like an active uh, asset versus a passive asset is like in the active asset, like you yourself are the asset, your labor, your body, your time, your energy, that's what you're selling to get uh, to make money. But in, pa in a passive income sense, you're creating an asset that is going to work for you to help you generate money with or without your presence or with or without your work. So yeah, I'm still, I have the digital ads out there. I still reach out to groups, reach out to organizations to promote my book. But the thing is, is like literally in my sleep, I could wake up the next day and go to Amazon and see that like I've made money from my in, indirectly from my previous labor of creating the book. So hopefully that's a, a really good solid example that helps you to describe the difference between uh, active and passive income. So in the next clip, I just wanna talk about a lot of the scams out there, uh, particularly surrounding uh, the passive income world. As I previously articulated, like there are a lot of scammers and 
influencers out there selling people on this fantasy that they could make money in their sleep on a beach, travel around the world without doing anything. And like the, the, the fact of the matter is, is that that's a bold faced lie. As I accurately described, like in order to make money, you have to put in work or somebody has to put in some type of work. Like you're not just going to get money in your sleep. Like there's, there's, there's certain types of passive income, like preferably like a trust or like an inheritance where that's the closest thing to like to not doing anything. But at the fact of the matter is, is that somebody did something to create that asset that is generating money for you. Like somebody put in the work to create that and you're just never gonna make money from doing nothing. So like common uh, passive income fraudulent scams out there are one of my favorites. It was like licensing or reselling eBooks. Like I see all the time people on Instagram promoting, hey, you could buy this uh, uh, ebook, you could license it out for a couple dollars, like license this ebook out for five dollars, but then you could resell it uh, to the market at ten dollars, and you could make five dollars passively in your seat in your sleep from licensing and reselling these ebooks. Well, the fact of the matter is, is that you're not just going to sell a random ebook to people. Like the person who made that passive income is the person who sold you on the lie that you can sell that ebook in your sleep after you license it. Like that is just BS. So that's one example. Uh, another thing is like MLMs. A lot of like these pyramid scheme type of companies where they just tell you, if you just sign up and you you sell these products or services that you could become a millionaire and you can get these vehicles and whatnot. But like the con in, in those schemes is that it's not about actually selling the product or service. It's really hiring a bunch of people up underneath you uh, and get them to sell the products and services. So essentially you make a cut off of everybody else's sales. And so they're like, yeah, that's passive income. But at the end of the day, it takes a lot of work to bring other people into the fold and sell them on that idea. So it's like, you have one guy conning a, a bunch of other people and then they're conning a bunch of other people and just the money funnels up to the top of the pyramid. So that's, <laughs> that's an, a, a bad example of passive income. And then of course you have like these money mindset gurus and these people with these secret launch formulas or these people selling you a million dollar course ideas and you're just going to make a course and put it up online and uh you're going to be a millionaire in your sleep like those don't work either like whatever you create like whatever asset you create you're going to have to put in some work to get people to want to buy that product or service so at the end of the day like the the main differences between active and passive income is that active income is money generated directly from someone's work, whereas passive income is money indirectly generated from someone else's work, whether that be someone's work, whether that be you or a friend, a family member or whatever, regardless of the fact is like, you can only make money after you put in some hard work. Like it's as simple as that. So my question for you today is how do you define uh, the differences between active and passive income. I'm super curious and would love to hear your thoughts. Drop your comments below and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Until next time.